Collaboration is a hallmark of Onshape and is unrivaled by any CAD system on the market today. Onshape provides simultaneous editing capabilities within the same document, as well as a powerful concept of branch editing, allowing designers to go off into their own workspace to work on the design, or perhaps develop alternative concepts, and then merge changes into any version of the design. Let's start by looking at simultaneous editing. What I mean by simultaneous editing is that any number of people can open and work on the same document at the same time. To demonstrate here in this video, I'll just create another instance of Onshape running here in my browser, but keep in mind what I'm about to show you will behave the same way whether you have two people or 20 people working in the same document from their own devices or browsers. When another person opens the document, you'll see their initial appear, as well as in the part studio they're looking at. You will also see their initial in any sketch or feature that they're editing. Let me show the two browsers side by side so you can get a better look. As soon as one person makes a design change, everything is updated in real time without the need to rebuild or reload the document. To take this a step further, let's take a look at when two designers are editing the same sketch. When I do, you can see the initial on both screens editing the same sketch. Here on one screen, as one designer adds geometry, you can see it appears right away in both windows. Of course, this works both ways, and either designer can make edits or add additional geometry, and both see the same thing in real time. I'll go ahead and exit out of the sketch in one of the browsers here. And when I add a feature based from this sketch, when I complete the feature, as you might expect, both screens update in real time. Simultaneous editing is obviously powerful, but as I mentioned earlier, another innovation in Onshape is something called branch editing where designers can create a workspace based on an existing version of the design, make any additions or changes, and then merge changes back in with any version. Let's take a look. If you take a look next to the document name, you can see that both of these are working on the version called main. To branch off of a design, it must be based on an existing version. That said, let me go ahead and save a new version of the design with the changes that were just made. The version was saved, but again, you can see that both screens are working on the main workspace. Here in this tree view, I can see all of the versions that have been stored up to this point. If I expand the gear icon, here you can see the option to branch to create workspace. As a quick side note, if I click the gear icon for main, notice that option does not appear. This is because a branch must always be created from an existing saved version. Or, in other words, since main is considered a workspace that may always be changing, a branch must be created based on a version that was stored which will not change. I'll go ahead and create a branch from the latest version. And here in the dialog, I can type in a name and a description. When I click Create, here you can see the branch has been added and the white dot lets me know that this is an active workspace that I can click on to open, just as I could with main. When I open it, notice its name appears next to the document name, while main appears next to the document name in the other browser. I can go ahead and make some edits here in this workspace, and of course any changes I make are being stored in real time within this workspace, where any number of designers can work as well. Now keep in mind, in this other session that's working with the main version, changes to the design can of course be made here as well. 
So here I have two sessions where changes have been made to two different workspaces in the document. To merge them together, I'll again click the Manage Versions icon. Something nice about merging is that anything can be merged together. What I mean is I can merge the change that was made in main into the new workspace or merge the change that I made in the new workspace into the main workspace. I'll select the workspace I want to merge into and click Merge. When I do, the Merge From dialog appears. Since I selected Merge on the new workspace, you can think of this like merging the changes from main into this workspace. I'll click Cancel. And this time I'll select the main workspace and select Merge. By doing this, I can merge the changes from the new workspace into the main workspace, which the other session is already working in. When I click OK, Right away you can see the other browser update showing all of the changes merged together in the main workspace. At this point, either designer could continue working on any branch or workspace within the document as they wish. Branch editing is not limited to a simple example like the one I showed you here. From any branch, you can save new versions, branch out even further, and merge changes from any branch at any time. And as you can see in this example here, branch editing really allows for powerful and flexible collaboration in Onshape.